So you're the mother? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Parias, it's person kadali. And where is Papa? Where is Papa? Papa! Papa! Papa is coming. <laughs> So I also would like to congratulate you, huh? Thank you. This is a, a very, very important moment when your child is the first child? Yes. Yeah, that's wonderful. A little such a little treasure. But I didn't understand well this morning. Is it a girl or a boy? Girl. A girl. And the name is? Chenaya. Chenaya. Well, that is wonderful. Congratulations. And it will be, you know, with the blessing of God, with the nearness of God by the baptism now comes the ceiling when the apostle comes here and the child will never forget my parents brought me to God. It was so nice. So it's touched me this morning. Yeah, then we pray. Dear God and Heavenly Father, we say thank you for word and sacrament this morning. We say thank you for the little baby. We say thank you for the baptismal. We say thank you, Father, that you have chosen these parents here to bring up your child. And you shall now also prepare your way and remove all the obstacles and all the dangers, Father, and virus and all, all the bad things of this world. Keep it away from the family. Bless them. Let them have joy. Let them have peace. Let them have prosperity also, Father, in their natural life. Bless this house here who has received us and bless the food. Remove the curse from earth which is attached to it. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Wow, that's wonderful. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Yay. It's only the Mulaki. Huh? It's only the Mulaki. First cousin, Nako. Papa Nako, oh. Papa Nyaman, and so on. Oh. <laughs>
Yes. How old are you? Forty. And what would you like to to do in the future when you are grown up? Doctor? 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 Black was Papa, but I. I can't be, be half uh, scholarship. Oh, yeah. But uh, you must have good grades, huh? If you don't have good grades. Well, but it's scholarship day. It's scholarship for church. Nice scholarship, yeah, yeah, our yeah. scholarship program will increase because we have mm. 85 80, grade. Uh, so, bila man ang grade niya passing? Richard. So our scholarship program will be increased and enlarged. You can always apply, but good grades, hard work, and no guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> because it's up to you. <clears throat> we already have four people. But maybe your papa is rich, so there's no problem to pay. But for doctors, it's the government who pays the tuition, right? You become a medical doctor. The government pays the tuition. No, I don't know. Because she wants to become a doctor. Medical doctor. Ah, psychiatrist! Okay. Oh, they will be very busy in future. <laughs> they will be COVID. very busy. <laughs> this is a difficult job. This is a very difficult job. Because you, you will be loaded with the deepest, the deepest, deepest, deepest uh, underground of the people's mind. That is psychiatrists very often against themselves to the problem But uh, pediatrics, you know, for children, children doctors, baby doctors. Pedia. Mm. Or dentist. <laughs> oh, you don't like? <laughs> <laughs> You want to go abroad? Very good. That's nice. Right answer. <laughs> <laughs> we are going abroad. If you are on the right way, you will fill up the super meat. Why, Jose? When you are abroad, you are not free, you are very restricted, you lose your best years for maybe work abroad which is not, not so fulfilling. You cannot develop yourself unless of course, let's say, you're a nurse, a computer, a computer uh, specialist, then yes, Road may be a good job, but still you pay a high price when you are young and, 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 and single. It's somehow okay when you have children and a family. And you know sometimes the jobs in road they don't bring so much money. And then they are indebted. 
actually work for pets. But I have seen many hardships. I'm not saying it's absolutely wrong, but it needs it needs the right arrangement. <laughs> The profession, whether it's in the Philippines or abroad, without professional skills, you will not succeed. You will not succeed. You cannot go abroad and say, "Hey, I'm from the Philippines. I cannot read and count. And please give me a high-paying job." That does not exist. Thank you. Yep. So you need a skilled. You must be a skilled worker. Anything, medical, business, whatever. It doesn't matter. But you must have skills. You must graduate of something. Better college than not, and or vocational training. It is wrong to say I can go abroad with no skills. However, when you have skills, you also have in the Philippines chances. Maybe better. In certain professions, definitely. We have a shortage here. There's a shortage in the Philippines of people with technical skills because they are either uneducated or go abroad. So why not use your skills in the Philippines? Maybe you have less salary, but you also have less cost. You know? Or you go abroad only for work and money, and all the money goes home. Yeah, but that's no that's no good life. You know that makes you no fun, no joy, no, especially in Saudi. And uh, you know, it's it's a big prize you pay. Again, I'm not saying it's wrong, but it has to be the right thing at the right time. Canada is the absolute best, but it's very hard to get to Canada. But to migrate to Canada, get a, you get a job there right now, very easy. But here again, you have to have a skill. That's the, the, the philosophy. Many people, they just dream of abroad and think the money comes automatically. It's a big price. It's a big sacrifice. And you have to know very, very well who I want that. And here again, when you're young, not married, no children, yes, then it might be, it might be a good idea. But the minute you have family or want family, and my 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 sister-in-law, the son, married a Filipina. She worked in my office. Fifteen years ago, already. She was perfectly fine. She was perfectly fine. Perfectly happy, but of course it was also a long way. And she married a, a young Swiss man. If you marry a foreigner, only one of your age, never an old one, because you just give up yourself to to be a caregiver. <laughs> For everything there are always two sides. A good one and a bad one. And when you can find something which goes in between, which is optimal, then it's good. But don't make one side of the decision. And when you want to be one or two more. One more. Oh yeah. 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 O
Uh, the government pays or have they kind of you can yes. always make an application oh, yeah, the system generally at the office with us yes. you're right I'm changed from so and so I would like to what do I need to get scholars I need it I don't guarantee you because you must qualify hey <laughs> but don't uh, photograph my fat belly. <laughs> Cut it. <laughs> well, there's a new app that you can shrink your belly. Yes, I know. But it looks very unnatural. <laughs> and everybody laughs because they know it's different. I also see on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Are you on Facebook? Yes, we're actually friends. We are friends? Yes. Ah, who are you? Added me. Huh? Julia, Julia Tiara. <laughs> Tiara? Yeah. I think. Yeah, your Facebook. The one was... who's doing eyebrows. I see you like yes, the photos. Yes, <laughs> you make eyebrows, yeah. yeah. Ah, but that is on the face, in these upper boxes there with the, the news, you know. Ah, yeah, yeah. You're the one with the eyebrows. So that's your business, huh? Yes. Uh, just a minute. So you are friends with Lucas? Lucas yes, Jesus. you are the Who is this? And then when I saw the timeline... Anasus comes from Pegasus, you know, this, uh, this horse. Hi. And so, so I kept it. That was your code name only. That was my code name only. <laughs> Government employees, they are the office. They have they, they never they always have work and pay, but never really productivity. <laughs> that's yes. But that's not only the Philippines like that. <laughs> We used to have a joke. We used to have a joke in Switzerland, you know. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the city hall. Oh, how many are working in there? Half. Fifty percent of productivity. The other, the other half doesn't work. That's very true. Okay, you need government, but the government should not make your person. Government must lead, government must defend, government must provide uh, health care and all these kind of things. This is government job. Government is not here to, to jeopardize economy. Government should promote economy. Government should take out of the economy only what they need for the defense. Military, as you said, these kind of things. That is where government must act. That's the government's job. Police, all and order. That's government. And everything else, productivity, producing value. That's the economy. As we just discussed yesterday, no economy, no state. Whether you are a family, whether you are a company, whether you are a nature, whatever, you need economy. And the best economy is, you know what? What's the best economy? The safest economy. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Looks like Filipino. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother.
Selamat ya, bye bye. Hai. Red. Ana ya? Ana